Welcome to the Big Four Accounting Firms podcast brought to you by Big4AccountingFirms.com. This episode is brought to you by Boomer. Boomer helps you ace the interview at the Big Four Accounting Firms, and it does this by helping you practice on questions typically asked on the Big Four interview. And if you use the link or promo code Big Four, and if you use the link, which goes to tryvoomer.com slash big four, or the promo code BIG4, then listeners get 10% off their purchase. So go ahead and check out their website, tryvoomer.com, and see if you like all the tools they have that can help you prep for your big four interview, and you do choose to purchase it, make sure to use the link in the show notes, because with that link, you're going to get 10% off, or make sure to use our promo code. All the details are in the show notes. In today's podcast, I wanted to talk about different approaches to basically everything. But where I saw it recently was uh, budgeting for an engagement. And specifically, the big four accounting firms, they have systems where you charge your time, and they're all roughly the same. It might be used different software, but they're all the same, where you just put increments of an hour especially if you move up and you have to put a description, a location, etc. And then there's another system on top of that where you project your time. And then if there's variances, you have to explain. And HR explains to you that this is because of they're trying to utilize resources. And there's always games that people play and the games vary throughout the firms. But more to the point, I wanted to talk about approaches to like not, not only entering the time, like I don't really want to talk about that. I want to talk about attitude because I recently worked on a different teams and one team spent all this time panicking and all this variance reports and constantly sending out reminders to update the system where you maintain your time or your projection of time and make sure it matches the actual time that you charge. And to me, that kind of defeats the point, but there's a lot of things like that in the big four accounting firms. But the thing that I want to talk about was attitude, because on one team, there's a lot of panic from leadership around getting your time in the systems and making sure the variance reports have no variance, and they were constantly tracking. And this is one thing that I talk about frequently on the podcast is all the admin that you have to do in the big four accounting firms. So you don't necessarily have to do an industry. But on the other team that I'm on, there's the leadership positions are very jovial and happy and joking. And even though there might be variances, it's very lighthearted, uh, very happy. And the people on that team are much happier and optimistic, I would say, about just everything, even though they joke about working in the big four accounting firms and how it might not be the best, but it's still there. It's an optimistic approach. And they were even getting emails from leadership about the variances between the projected time and the actual time, but they kind of brushed it off. And it was, there was more of a positive and happy and joking attitude than the other team where the other team is very serious. And if you get any email from a partner or senior leadership at the firm, then it's the end of the world. And to me, it's a good learning moment for everybody because I think the most common approach in the big four accounting firms is to panic anytime you get any type of feedback or request from leadership above you. But I think there's a lot to be said for when you can establish good relationships and be positive and joke around because... I think it just makes everybody on the engagement that much more comfortable and it seems to be working and a person just goes, the people on this team go about their day a lot easier because they're just, they approach it happier and it doesn't seem to be negative consequences for it either. It's because, because that's a lot of the big four is just people creating these metrics that don't really matter and these metrics on top of metrics. And yeah, you get nasty emails, but as long as you manage it and you manage it, especially if you manage it with a smile and a joke, I think people can get by with a lot more. But also if the leadership people know that you're a positive person and you're raising morale, 
And I think you can get away with a lot more because a lot of times these people will create metrics and just push people on them because they're miserable and they want other people to be miserable. The margins aren't good and they just want, they think they're going to squeeze a last bit of margin out of a miracle by creating a variance report. And that variance report is just going to get people to miraculously make margins bigger when that's not really happens. That's not really what happens. So if you, if you just approach things from a more positive manner, and if this was more common in the big four accounting firms, then I think uh, things would be a lot better. And I think a lot more people would stay. So that that's one thing that I wanted to let people know about today is, is there's, there's a different ways that you can approach your engagements and your work at the big four accounting firms. The most common one is to be negative and worried and super serious. But so many of the things in the big four accounting firms just don't matter and they end up making people miserable and leave. And I think the way to change is to be more positive. And uh, I mean, don't make yourself seem like a joke. Don't joke about yourself all the time. But I think being more jovial, being more happy, upbeat, and in the face of adversity, because in this one team, it's just the people on that team are positive no matter what, a lot more positive than the majority of the teams that I've ever been on. So it's just a unique situation that I thought would be a good learning point for people. But that's the podcast for today. Make sure to subscribe to this podcast to stay up to date. Also make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Big Four Accounting Firms. Thanks for listening.